particular for Naruto. The thing with Naruto is that that's interesting with Naruto is I think when we all go back, well, the thing is you have to rewatch it or reread it to understand what me and Matt are saying. If you haven't, you might not remember exactly what goes down or it might have flown over your head. But there's a lot of little intricacies in Naruto that actually foreshadows things that's going to happen in Shippuden that flew over our heads. So a lot, of the, a lot of the stuff that we said about Naruto that was detrimental to Naruto was just us being prisoners at the time. Prisoners of the time. Prisoner of the moment. I have my doubts, but okay. A great example, right, Cole? You still think you're, you're correct on the theory of um, Neji was correct about the destiny thing, right? Yeah. You're wrong. You want to know how you're wrong? Because True. in part one Naruto, in the Valley of the End, um, Kakashi, in chapter 234, Kakashi specifically states, right after Naruto for Sasuke in part one Valley of the End, he talks about both Madara and Hashirama as being the two characters that built the Leaf Village. So that was already foreshadowed in part one going into Shippuden. That flies over a lot of people's heads because we didn't know what that meant at the time. So that's fair. But Kakashi says something super interesting. Kakashi says, Naruto and Sasuke, as long as they live, the cycle will continue. The cycle, now we know, after the series is over, being Indra and Ashra. Right? So that was always a thing since part one. So it wasn't like part one was this whole thing about Naruto having to, to uh, break down destiny, and then it gets completely retracted in part two. It only continues in part two. And you know this because Naruto actually does break the cycle of destiny by having Sasuke submit. Because the only thing Naruto was ever destined to do in his life was to fight Sasuke. He wasn't destined to be a hero. He wasn't destined to be Sasuke. He was only ever destined to fight Sasuke because he was a child of prophecy just like Sasuke. They were the two children of prophecy. The only thing that they were ever destined to do was fight each other like Inzu and Ashura and like Madara and Hashirama. And we know this for a fact because even the Toad Sage doesn't have an outcome for that destiny because it wasn't predetermined which is why the toast sage also tells jiraiya depending on how you treat naruto will depend on how he's going to change the world whether it be for the better or for worse because even the toast sage didn't know the outcome of the predetermined destiny because it wasn't predetermined so naruto breaks his destiny by having sasuke submit therefore breaking the destiny of the intro and ashura cycle so he actually does keep his promise to neji when he says he's going to break his own destiny that doesn't matter Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Like well, none of that it. matters because he okay. still because he still fulfills both Toad Sage's prophecies fulfilling. So it just doesn't mean shit. Uh, what, I mean, he what, does break wait, the cycle wait, what, at the what end. Did he, but what did he? What wait? What did he fulfill both from the Toad Sage's prophecies? Both Sasuke and Naruto do be Kaguya, and they do wind up saving the world. That wasn't part of the destiny. And, well, hold on now. That's part of the that, prophecies. And also the child prophecy? with blue eyes and blonde hair that I think. The Toad Sage said that Hogger almost said they'll become friends with the Tail Beast that happened too. Wholesale. He was friends with the Tail Beast. That happened just the way it was. And like with injured Ashra yeah. for him. Okay. But the also, completely. Okay, but yeah, also so the, to the Toad happen, Sage. The Toad Sage. No, hold on, hold on. The Toad like, Sage Hawk also from, says. As far as I recall. What, what? <laughs> I literally just said the Toad Sage okay. also says that Naruto can be utilized for the destruction of the world or to save the world. Therefore, meaning is not predetermined. Because he himself doesn't know what route Naruto is going but to take. But it's take. still Naruto. It's not like, well, but it's still Naruto. It's not Rock Lee. It's not Shikamaru. It's Naruto. Okay. So the yeah. Destiny Cycle is still, so, it, so it's still becoming on Naruto to be this person of stature, no matter what happens. That's kind of the point. Meaning that if Naruto were to just sit around, put on his thumbs and do dumb shit, it will still happen all the same. Because Naruto true, would ultimately get to this point. No, it's not. Because Naruto working, Naruto working hard. I mean, even now we know what comes to the whole Ash Inter cycle. Naruto working hard, and Naruto becoming who he was, since he is the vast majority of his soul is comprised of someone like Ashra, then the vast majority of who he is as a character is situated on Ashra. That's not true. And you want to know how soul. that's not true? And Hagar, as far as I understand, I think it was Hagarom who said. There's a difference here between you and Ashra. And that, I think it was like, he's dumber. No, no okay, fine, whatever. Hagu so Romo it was that one that, It's difference. funny that you bring that up, because in that very same uh, conversation, Hagoromo also specifically states, no matter how talented your parents may be, 
and how talented your genetics should be, you're not destined to be as good as them. Good as them. He was referring to uh, Minato and Kushina. Therefore, meaning, just like you said, how Naruto was destined to just sit around and tweet his thumbs, he'll be great. Hagoromo in that comment specifically states that Naruto wasn't meant to be great simply because he was the Asha reincarnation. Because if that but was again, the case, Hagoromo would have never made that statement. No, because again, this is also in lockstep with the prophecy of him being the person to actually be able to control and be friends with all the tail beasts and gain all their power, essentially. So if Naruto is fated to be this person that ultimately be friends with all the tail beasts is going to have, by default, a tremendous amount of power, just alone. In fact, that's just why he actually can be that strong, ultimately speaking, at the end of the damn day, because he's friends with Kurama, the only one in like God knows how many centuries that happens through so and through. So he was, he was, he does wind up beating, just... he does, he, he, he does, again, he, again, it's how Destiny works in Naruto. Okay, the whole trend Destiny working in Naruto is that Naruto at the beginning of the series had to fight against that. Now Kakashi may make some offshoot comments at the end of the series about how, well, this cycle of Madara and Hashirama, he's seeing it now in Naruto and Sasuke, and then he feels that that's gonna wind up repeating itself because Naruto's gonna give him on Sasuke. Okay, that's fine, but Naruto as a character's mindset is vastly different from what he was at the beginning of the series to what is at the end of the series completely. What you can argue is good character development in a sense, maybe, but the problem is that because of who he is as a person is vastly, I'd argue, influenced by who Ashra is, then that mitigates the vast majority of his character just by default. That's an unfortunate reality how of Naruto's character. How can you even make that assumption when we don't even know how Ashra was as a character? Besides because as far as I remember, because besides, because as far as I remember besides, besides the revealed, fact that uh, Hagoromo says question. that he was that he was hardworking. Because as far as I remember, when Hagoromo revealed that he had Indra's, uh, no, sorry, uh, when, he, when he had Ashra's soul inside of him, he specifically noticed how he was exactly like Ashra, exactly like him, with one exception, and that he was dumber. So if that's the case, then the vatra of, of who Naruto is as a character is Ashra. So that does mitigate a lot of Naruto's, of, of, of his character growth, if not the vast majority of it, in that one moment right then and there. So... I can understand why so folks... So you're going to keep the same energy does, does, if, if, if Luffy is Joy Boy? If Luffy is... Well, no, Luffy probably is Joy Boy, but who the hell is Joy Boy? We can say the same thing for Ashra. No, we can't. Yes, you can. Because the problem here... No, because the problem here is that at the very beginning of the series, in I think it was chapter two, it's noted how Luffy's journey is a journey of destiny. So we're not too sure if Luffy's dream of being the freest person is something that is innately a Joy Boy thing from the rip. Because remember, even in the ASL flashback, there is literally a quote that Luffy says in front of Ace and Sabo when he wants to achieve his dream, but it's always muted by Oda. Like there's something about Luffy that's, and also Roger yeah, too. It's, it's, it's not the Pirate King. Yeah, it's not the Pirate King for a state, so yeah, after. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a whole different thing. Because after the Pirate King, there's something else probably afterwards that Oda has set up, I, probably established since Chapter Two. Just, just, to, just, to, just, just to touch on, just to touch on what what King's alluding to, or what King's talking about, I think it's more so something related to like Luffy's um, freedom. Like, I, I think Luffy's going to get another backstory because, wh like, where does Luffy get this, um, like, such this rebellion against, like? Uh, being oppressed and having this obsession with being free. It, because, it makes well, me think you make the it makes me you think got it from Shanks. He was... Because Shanks was a pirate. And he saw I mean, pirates nah, as being... Nah, 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 nah. But, no, no, hold on. But he saw the pirates as being the symbolism of freedom. Well, so, we're not too sure exactly, but if you reread the, LCL, the ASL flashback after Marine Ford War, Luffy is heavily influenced by Ace and Sabo and their actions, and how Sabo was a noble, but he was so restricted as a result. He wanted to go around and mm -hmm. be free and that kind of stuff, but later on he was allegedly killed by a Ten Ribido on the way to visit the kingdom, the Goa kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that's when Luffy starts to cry nonstop. That, that's what Ace promises to be like a great pie and that kind of stuff. And all these things influence Luffy's mindset moving forward. So yeah, he's influenced by Shanks, of course, but also by Ace and Sabo as well. And we see that during that flashback, that whole big flashback arc. So there could be another flashback that what, uh, what um, uh, so here's the thing. Matt's saying. But the problem also here too is that 
the idea of what Joy Boy is, according to Kaido, it seems to be a title that you have to earn. Not necessarily that you're given, per se, but you have to actually be worthy of the title Joy Boy and actually earn that. Which is why Roger, he was too late. He wasn't necessarily worthy of being Joy Boy, but he was Pirate King, which is Luffy's dream. But being Joy Boy is step above that, which Luffy has maybe potentially earned just now. Okay. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily um, the case. Uh, Roger wasn't awesome. technically well. Roger wasn't Joy Boy because Shirahoshi hadn't been born yet. Right, but so here's the thing. He, he said he what was too. He said he was too. He was too early. Well, yeah, yeah right, he, he was said too he, early. He, he said he was too early. Exactly. So like, he. I, I don't, I don't think that Joy Boy is necessarily a title. I think Joy Boy is obviously a person. Um. Because it's 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 like um what what did Zunisha say? Uh, I hear the the drums the of liberation. Drums beating, yeah, yeah. Um, Which actually Joy so Boy has okay, Joy Boy his... has returned. Like, yeah. Here's here's one so, thing that's like, interesting. Hold on real quick. Because right. Cole mentions the possibility of foreshadowing, right, from very early One Piece. But yeah. that's the thing, it's just a possibility. Whereas Naruto, we actual we actually have foreshadowing in Naruto that this was going to happen in part one. So we have we have an argument on two completely different stances here, whereas Cole's arguing on the possibility that One Piece is like this, when I'm stating that Naruto actually is like this. Well, hold on. Naruto's already over, so I have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, that's why Man and I are speculating. Like, Man and like, I, you said, like you said when well, I brought well, up on, my well, point, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. No, because, because what does, what does matter... <laughs> you know, yes, it does. The reason why it doesn't matter is because it was still foreshadowed in part one Naruto that these things were going to happen. We just didn't know because we didn't have the end of the series just yet, right? We, didn't, we, can't, we can't we can't have gender. foresight future to see what's going to happen. But it still doesn't change the fact that this was foreshadowed and talked about uh, through characters in Naruto. No, so you mentioned just one character, Kakashi, mentioning about how Sasuke and Naruto are going to bound are, are bound to fight again. At some point in the future. Okay, that's, that's fine. Whatever. You see, literally because... specifically states the cycle. Okay, hold on. So, I mean, that could be a transition thing. I have no idea. All it seems to be is that Naruto and Sasuke are just in the fight again. Okay, fine. That's whatever. That's not the main issue. The main issue is afterwards, when it comes to Naruto's character and who Naruto is as a character, when it comes to Ashra, and then the prophecies that then back up this whole claim in conjunction with what Naruto wanted to be before at the very beginning during the training exams when his whole motif was to make sure that he could fight against all the grains of destiny, which he wants to be a main catalyst of. Luffy is different because Luffy, as I remember the deep, at least as far as I understand, he could be different wholesale. I guess so that's the thing. We, he could be different. We're not too sure if he's different. We're just getting the whole thing with Joy Boy now. But the whole thing with Joy Boy now is something that could have been foreshadowed from a like, potentially chapter one or chapter two when it uh, comes to the, how you get here today. Chapter one. It, it's definitely chapter probably one. Probably chapter one. But that's but him being the pirate king and him being Joy Boy are separate things here. You're so still, we're not too you're sure. You're still playing semantics. So you're still talking. You're still talking no, about no, probabilities. No, 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 no. Okay, dude, dude, dude. One Piece is not done yet, so I don't know. Like my like my man, of course, I don't know. What I'm telling you is that Naruto's story is done in Naruto. And I'm, 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 I'm not doing Boruto, obviously. And given Naruto's story and his character in that series, it's completed. And we saw how it played out. And it's unfortunate, but what it has for his character come the end of the series is, I argue, not a good thing. And it's quite easy to argue. Luffy, I can't say that. I have no idea. But I can speculate. That's it. I can theory craft, but I don't know. So until it's wrapped up, and then depends by the on way, the way, I also, by the way, I also want to point out the fact that I'm not saying that you're arguing a possibility for Luffy having the same thing as Naruto. What I'm saying is you're arguing on the possibility that it's possibly foreshadowed. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Well, here, let, let me let me well, just interject. I no, think, not I really. Think what it is, well, hang on, hang on, King. Okay. I think what it is is that, like, oh, obviously, the execution of how this is. Uh, or or how this is done matters, right? Like, um, so that's why the next chapter is going to be just as important, if not more important than than this chapter. And as far as um, as far as it being foreshadowed, like, I mean, you can go back to chapter one, or you can even go back as early as like chapter uh, chapter one hundred, where um the tale of luffy's destiny begins like that's that's literally how the chapter ends in 
in chapter one, I believe. Yeah. And then 100, whenever Luffy is um leaving, uh, what, what island was that? The uh, what, what island was it? Was it Low Town? Oh yeah, Low Town. When he got saved yeah. by the lightning by, by when by he got saved by Dragon, yeah. um, the the destiny thing pops up again when Dragon's giving this <laughs> uh Dragon's giving this speech. But like, I think what King is saying is that like it's just not it, it's it's not finished. So we can't we we haven't seen the results of the foreshadowing yet versus Naruto where it's like you know the we've seen it all play out. Okay, so and then, and then, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. And then also on top of that, the key thing here is that Joy Boy and what Joy Boy is seems to be in lockstep with who Luffy is. Okay, being that's, tired that's of getting, the series. That's getting okay. out of no, we no, no, going to talk no, about with Naruto and One Piece because the whole thing with One Piece. No, that's, irre- like, that's irrelevant. I only brought it up as a comparison to see if you can okay, keep well, the same then, energy if the same thing happens in One Piece. So the whole thing with One Piece overall is irrelevant. The question I want to ask you is, what was um, what do you think Naruto's destiny was in in Naruto then? Because you said it 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 was fulfilled. No, that, destiny no, was fulfilled. That's, no, that's the point. The point is that Naruto in part one in destiny. For the vast majority of part one in Naruto, Naruto was supposed to fight against his fate, which he presumed was something that was ill-fated, meaning that he was destined, or at least he had the idea that he was cursed because of the curse because of the tables inside of him. He was shunned by everyone around him and all these different things. And so he was going to work hard, bust his ass, to make sure that he could overcome these hurdles and become the Hokage and, and prove everyone wrong. That was the whole point. In part one, Naruto, Naruto was way more in lockstep with Rock Lee than any other character, I'd argue. That's how Naruto operated. But that changes dramatically in part two. And the reason why is because, number one, you have the prophecies now come into play about who is the person that's destined to either destroy the world or save the world, which means that that would imply great power off the gate, number one. Number two is that you have the that's prophecy not... of the child with blue eyes and bl- maybe have blonde hair too. That would be the friends with the, all the tail beasts, and then <clears throat> that wants to be Naruto as well. And then on top of that, when he is Ashura, his soul, which Hagram omitted was a large part of who Naruto is his character, that means that all the things that Naruto had to achieve in terms of like making friends and working hard, if these things are exactly what Ashura was, with a slight difference of, of with, again, as far as I understand, as far as I recall, the slight difference of him being dumber, that means that. Who Naruto is as an individual is based based on another character from the jump, with maybe one difference. That's detrimental for Naruto's character more than anything else. That is not like, because we know because we huge. know it's not because we know Ashra didn't go through the same upbringing as Naruto. Naruto and his ch- in his childhood still had a fight to get that respect and had a fight to even get friends. Ashra was not put in that position. Ashra was specifically stated by Haguromo to have the. To have the, the the people behind him, and he depended on those individuals. Where Naruto did not have that from the beginning. Naruto had to fight for that respect. Naruto had to fight for those people to trust him. No, Asha wasn't that way from the jump. He yes, was he actually was. no. No, it was specifically as as stated that Indra was a loner like Sasuke. Yeah, he, he was, was gifted though. But he, he was, was independent. Gifted. He was gifted, whereas Ashura had to depend on others. But it wasn't right. Like but they, he it wasn't, wasn't like gifted they, at first. Yeah, but it's not like it's not like yeah, but he skills. wasn't he wasn't shunned like Naruto was. Okay, wait, but wait, huh? Naruto. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> the sa- would you would you say that Hashirama was also, um, you know, this is detrimental to his character, this, since he was again supposed to and be Madara. the other and we know we know how you feel about Mari Rama. And a Madara too, because uh, they're they're both the other incarnations. Exactly. In yeah, but Madara actually breaks the cycle. No, he does because he dies. No, he no, 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 he doesn't. No, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. He dies, so he's no longer the host of the soul. No, 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 no. That is that's he not dies, how it works. Right? No, that's not how it works. No, 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 no. All the cycle that is cycle, is for the truth. Okay. Continuing. Yes, all the cycle okay, okay, is no, okay. is for the reincarnations to continuously fight each other throughout eternity. That is the cycle. That is the that is okay. the prophecy okay, okay, of the children. On, okay. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, the chosen children who are Naruto and Sasuke, and beforehand were Madara and Hashirama. Mm-hmm. They do not fight each other. But the whole point here is that when it comes to Ashra, the original soul of Naruto, he was like Naruto because he wasn't gifted at first. He had to act, he like he wasn't given people to become friends with off the rip. He had Naruto wasn't either. That. Yeah, okay, so they're the same. 
They are not though. Oh. They are not the same. If if both Madara, I'm sorry, if both ha- because... if both Naruto and Ashura mm-hmm. had to work hard to attain these people around them to gain this greater following, and mm-hmm. through that and then and then through that strength of friendship and so on and so forth, mm-hmm. that's what rose Ashura to that level to compete with this gifter, more savvy brother, older brother, Indra, then that's the same thing here with Naruto. Naruto, he had to work hard. He had to, you know, show people that he could actually do it. He had to gain this mass people following that we see ultimately come to fruition. And then we see, I mean, I guess coming so out of all, saying, that's, that's So you're saying he got there. Time. So you're saying he got there through hard work and not destiny after all. That's literally what no, you're saying. No, what I'm saying, no. What I'm saying yeah, is so that you literally hard said Naruto worked hard. No, no. What I'm saying is what I said before. Him working hard is just a byproduct of destiny. That's really it. It's, it's all part of this. It's all part of the same. It's all part of the same cycle. It's I mean, because again, because well, actually, I mean, well, actually, I mean, no, 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 actually, no, 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 it because does for my thing. point. Because here's the thing: if he actually breaks the cycle at the he end, he does. Of course, I, w- w- yeah. wait, hold on. If when when he breaks the cycle at the end, which I've admitted already, obviously that is not, that's not important to me because it proves that prior to that cycle breaking, everything was all in the same way, essentially speaking. And we said with the prophecy, whether they but here's do the thing though, what you what you completely he, what you, him what you, and Sa- him and Sasuke they do seal Kaguya. That does happen. It's not Shikamaru or Kakashi or Sakura. It's Naruto and Sasuke wholesale. Full stop. Prophecy done. Number one. Number two. Kaguya is not does part come of the prophecy. Tale, does does come to he as the children of the prophecy as the children of the prophecy as as the children of the prophecy. All right, the ones that are destined to seal Kaguya. Hagoromo and Homura, all right. They follow that same line. They go along no, the they same don't. track. Yeah, that's they Indra, do. That's Indra and because Ashura. That's not Hagoromo and his brother. Hagoromo is the one that actually seals up to the moon. I think it was Kaguya, and then it was the sons that of Hagoromo and that's Indra Ashura. That's headcanon. That that's wanna, headcanon. Wait, hold on. That's hold not. On. That's not part of the prophecy. That's not part of the prophecy. The prophecy Are they not starts. The prophecy? No, they're not. The children of no. the children prophecy began with on, Indra and Ashura. Okay, okay. It was on, not with Hagoromo and, sure and his actually, brother. Like, was it even wasn't Nagato even one of the children of the prophecy too? Because he was no, uh, Jiraiya, oh, no. no, Jiraiya thought he was. Only, thought only, he was. Sa- only Sasuke and Naruto were the children. Of only prophecy. Thank you. All right, what the fuck? But, but, but wait, the children of prophecy started with uh, Hagoromo and no, it doesn't. And um. It starts no, with no, 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 with Hagoromo. Yeah, with, with injury and Ashura. That's yeah. that's what I meant to say. Yeah. It didn't start with Hagoromo. Yeah, it does not start with Hagoromo and Hamura. It starts okay, with fine. Indra so and started, Ashura. Started, okay, fine. So I started Kagi with is not part of that prophecy. Injury and Ashura. And then they seal Kagi. Okay. So that's that's wholesale. That, that happens. Okay. Um, they do what they were destined to do with Hag with uh, Kagi. And then they and again Naruto becomes the person that does so that, that's what happens, number one. And number two, he does lead the tail beast. He's he's the friend of the tail beast, the kid with the blue eyes. I think blonde hair, he does want to be in front of all the tail beasts. That happens wholesale. Like that happens just right then and there. That's, that's also, also not a, that's also not part of the child of child of prophecy. That was just the toll Is that a sage. prophecy that the to- oh, yeah, okay. That's that a was the toll, that was the toll sage's prophecy. That's destiny. That's all destiny. The pro- what else is a prophecy okay. other than destiny? So okay. So here's the thing that you're completely missing when you when you do the whole Neji was right thing, right? The thing that you're missing is you're saying Neji was right because Naruto was beholden to his destiny, which isn't true because he winds up breaking the cycle, which therefore means he wasn't beholden to his destiny to continue the cycle like his previous uh, iterations, like Madara and Hashirama and like Indra and Ashra. Nar- Naruto, this is... Naruto was supposed to be a failure. This no, is the thing that not really, really because Naruto being a Ashra. failure is, goes against the ideals of Ashra. Because Ashura was a failure, wanted being success. Naruto was a failure, wanted being success. Oh, but but Ashura failed with Indra. That's the thing. Naruto yeah, exactly. didn't fail with Naruto. Exactly. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay, Naruto didn't. I'm saying Ashura was a failure in the sense that he failed with his brother. He failed with Ashura, or uh, or he failed with Indra. Yeah. Naruto wasn't supposed to uh, make Sasuke concede. Exactly. He yeah, was destined to fail. To happen. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. You're ignoring what? Okay, you, you've already. I, I've already said before clearly that Naruto already broke the cycle. But I don't care about meaning. That. But because then that Naruto means it breaks. It breaks your argument. No, 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 no,
No, it doesn't. That means Neji was not right. No, 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 it does mean he was right because every component of Destiny prior to that was it does, spot that, the fuck on. That doesn't and matter because Naruto and, and, and still wait, at the wait, end wait, breaks the destiny. Wait. And they, then no, they broke wait, the destiny, which wait, means they broke the cycle. No, so. and then who yes, Naruto is didn't. as a character is defined predominantly by Astra. His character doesn't point. matter in the sense of the of the conversation of destiny. His character does, does not matter. No, it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. no, no. His character doesn't yes. matter. The reason why it doesn't it matter does is because you specifically that... state Neji was right because Naruto was beholden to his destiny. But yeah, if Naruto yeah. was beholden to his destiny, yes, he would have failed with Sasuke not... and the cycle would have continued. He breaks the Sasuke. He breaks the cycle with Sasuke. He forces Sasuke to submit, breaking the cycle, breaking the destiny. His character is irrelevant That's... in that Listen. sense, meaning no, that Neji no, was okay. wrong. Yeah, yeah. You the are reason, wrong. The reason why it matters a tremendous amount is because it's contrary to who Naruto wanted to be or was aiming for for the vast majority of the pre-time skip. Meaning pre-time skip Naruto, his ideals, his belief, his mindset, who he is as an individual is completely and utterly differently, foundationally speaking, than we get at the end of Naruto. It's that really is not. why the character... Yes, it is. It's That's not. why character matters a tremendous amount. It's actually not. Because Yes, it is. Because who Naruto what changes, is... What changes with Naruto? Because, because who Naruto is as a character isn't even predominantly Naruto. It's Ashra. What changes with Naruto? Th 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 that! That is a tremendous change. Because who change? He, you he, literally didn't say the change. You just said, this is how Naruto was because of another character, but that's the change. How, Naruto, how is that a change? Okay. Naruto, in the beginning of the series, was someone that was ill-fated in his own mindset, and he had to work hard in order to achieve his dream because he was at a disadvantage and he was cursed compared to other people. He wasn't a genius. So he had to overcome all these obstacles through mm -hmm. his own inefficiency. Yes. Naruto was more in, lock, in, in, in lockstep with someone like Rock Lee okay. rather than Sasuke. Okay. However, but, but Naruto Naruto's still... Oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Kim. Go However, ahead. because Naruto winds up being Ashra, that means that all the hard work that he had to go through to take these people's friends, that is actually predestined because that is who he is by his soul. His every iteration of Ashra has been that way, and Naruto doesn't change. That's not it's true. It's a true. Hashirama was broken from jump. Hashirama was the one that created the village. No, Hashirama no, no. was broken from jump. Hashirama, yeah. wasn't, Hashirama oh, wasn't like, oh, look at me, I'm trash. I'm struggling. I'm like, struggling. no, Hashirama I'm trash. was broken. I'm shunned. I'm a Hashirama demon. was a genius from jump. Oh yeah. well, I mean, wait. I, okay, I just want to touch on. I, wait, I just want to touch on one thing. I just, okay. I just want to touch on one thing. Naruto still worked hard exactly. throughout the courts. That's one thing. Like, I'm that, not that, that, wait, that he wait. Did it. No, no. But King, but King, you, you said, you said that like he was, um, aligned more so with like Rock Lee, which I do agree with. But the thing is, is that Naruto still continued to work hard throughout the court. Like, bro, he. He had to come up with the with the technique uh, with the shadow clones, or he had to use the shadow clones to train so that he could perfect the Ross and Shuriken. And Shuriken. Yep. Then, then you go on to the Sage training. Then you go on to him perfecting the uh, the Kyubi mode. Like he he trained throughout the entire course of the whole series, the whole time skip. Yeah. The one like, time he gets he got, handed he got a more free efficient. power up. Was literally Hagoromo giving his power up. That's the only one time in the entire series he actually gets handed a power up, which he, is the very he got end of the more series. efficient. He got more efficient with his training because of the one ability that he could do, which was the shadow clones. Okay, so like I said before, all right, I mean, I don't know why you, you're, you're missing this. I have already acknowledged that Naruto works hard. That's already a given. I, I, that's, that's one of Naruto's main foundations. The problem, but you're also you're that, also dismissing his hard work while also admitting that he works hard. This makes no sense. No, because no, because when you when you work hard, okay, I'll put it like this, okay, it's almost like a religious person and in the face of God, where all the things that you do are basically preordained by God, and you have a purpose in life, and your purpose, all the things that you do, both both good and bad, are basically components of what God has planned for you in the greater scheme of the cosmos. And it's something that you can't understand or can't perceive. It's just that you are basically doing it because that's how God has written things for you. That is the destiny motif here. And in the case of Naruto, it's the same thing here because Naruto is Ashra. I don't care about Hashirama and Madara. I care about Naruto and Ashra 
because that was comparison with the Hagarama made. He didn't talk about um um. Um, a Madara, or, or, or he didn't talk about Hagar, uh, Hashirama. He talked about Naruto and Ashra. And so the comparison is one-to-one -one here. Does Naruto operate like Ashra? The vast majority of it, according to the man himself, was a resounding yes. Wholesale yes, yes, yes. There was one difference, though, and that was that he was dumber. That's so it. Here's, that's here's the thing that's mind-boggling. You're using two separate arguments that are completely on the opposite uh, ends of the spectrum to make one cohesive argument, and if nobody picks it up, uh, they think you, you're you're actually right here. But the thing here is, you can't you can't no, dis you, you can't disown Madara and Hashi ends. you can't dis wait, you can't disown Madara and Hashirama in the context of the children of prophecy because they literally are the children of prophecy. How the Romo doesn't make the one to one with Zed. It, makes one it with doesn't matter because they it are does still. Yes, it does because it's it is a hundred percent. It is one hundred percent confirmed that they are also children of prophecy. They were they were that time's iteration of Indra and Ashura. And Hagoromo confirms this himself. Because here's the problem: so you can't right? disown two characters that are part of the prophecy to make your point stand out. The problem is that what you're trying to do is go against Hagoromo's own words. I'm not. Because Hagoromo I literally just said Hagoromo no, 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 confirmed no, 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 himself. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Because Hagoromo makes that comparison one to one with with um, Sasuke and Naruto to Indra and Ashra. So I don't have to look at any other iteration of yes, you those do. souls. Yes, you do. Uh, yes, you do. No, no, I don't. No, but I don't. Hagoromo himself no, also no, states, no, 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 also no, states no, himself no, no, no. that Mara no, and Hashirama are part of that cycle. I know, I know, I know. And listen, right. I can nitpick everything about how Mara was that genius through and through, about how you can argue easily that Hashirama built the village, therefore he is someone like Ashra, and you can all argue that. It doesn't matter if he started off powerful shit. He didn't he build didn't, the village by himself, wait, wait, though. Wait, 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 no, no one said he did build it by himself. Naruto didn't build this direction by himself to gain these, all these great friends. It wasn't by himself. So you're he proving the point that he was trained all these different he things. Part, so he was part of the Ashura cycle. You're proving the point. No, no, that's the point. The point is that because Ashura starts the cycle and with Indra and Naruto and Sasuke end the cycle, and the man himself makes a comparison. You can't deny that he himself makes okay. a comparison. Let me try to make this simple. Naruto. Okay? Let me try to make so, it simple. No, 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 no. So, like, what you're saying is, okay, well, Hashem was different in this case, that case, and that case, and that case, compared to Ashura and Naruto. So, that renegs what Hagoromo said. No, it doesn't. I never said Hagoromo that. Himself, no, I because said you that. said that he started off powerful. Naruto didn't start off powerful. Therefore, the cycle doesn't Wait, who shit. didn't? Who didn't start no, off no, 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 that's no, what are you wrong, talking no, about? I did not I say that. I just said. No, I didn't. I, we said Hashirama was powerful off jump. Both him. Jump. Listen, we're getting listen, we're getting off topic here. Yeah, and hey, listen. Wait, wait. Powerful off jump is different than Naruto, right? Wait, what? Say that one more time. And him being powerful off the jump is different than Naruto, right? Yes. Okay, which would mean that in terms of the cycle, that's <sighs> irrelevant, right? Yeah, also how I could say you okay. making <laughs> no just how, how just how I could say that you saying Naruto working hard through destiny is also irrelevant as well. Because Naruto is different from Hashirama. Yeah. Because he's more like Ashra than Hashirama is. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. All right, then. So here's, here's, here's what I'm trying to say. Let me, I'm just making this. Let me make this super simple. The reason, once again, the reason why you're wrong is because you say Neji is right with the preordained, with the preordained destiny. And yes. the, the base of your argument is that everything that happens in the series is preordained and, pre, and pre, uh, predestined. Which not nobody every, here. Everything in the series, not everything in the series. No. Well, everything in and we're talking about in regards to Naruto and Sasuke, right? Naruto so, and Sasuke predominantly, yes, but there's one exactly exception. okay, okay. So, one, so one. all right, so you're saying everything that happens throughout the series is what makes Neji right. What I'm saying, the reason why you're wrong is because it's the end. Is the end. Is the, exactly the As ending. Said, yeah. Yes, exactly. So the ending, Naruto breaking the cycle, is. Still continuing on with his ideology from part one when he tells Neji that he's going to break his own destiny because that's literally what he does at the end of the series by ending the cycle and making Sasuke submit. He yeah, breaks, so, yeah, right. Yeah, the so destiny. that's what you're saying. Yeah, so what you're saying is that you're looking at that one moment at the end. I understand that. So that's where we fundamentally, that's where we but fundamentally, that's the ending, that wait, 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 ending wait, 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 moment. That is the ending moment. That is what. That is no, what no, no, encompasses no, no. everything okay, okay. into the destiny you, okay, argument. Wait, wait, no, no. So you look at the ending moment. I'm looking at the entire series. That's the difference here, okay? And I feel you because, yeah, he did end the Destiny cycle. And I've admitted to that like, years ago. Like, of course he ends the Destiny cycle. It's, it's done. But 
I'm not going to disregard every component that's happened prior to the ending moment. Because prior to that, it was all in lockstep, one like one to one. It was shocking how his soul was literally something else that completely rips apart so, one of the foundational fronts of the character. So the and it's completely contradictory to what Naruto had established at the beginning of the series. So, so okay, yeah, again, are you basically it, saying the result doesn't up. matter anymore? Because no. So what I'm saying here is that it's very simple. The ending does negate destiny. But Destiny's track. Does that means he's not the same as Ashura then. Wait. But, but that doesn't mean he's not the same. Wait. Whoa. But but Destiny's track still continues on until that point wholesale. That proves that for the vast majority of Shippuden, Nezu was on point, especially when the prophecies are fulfilled in the same way that they were written to Naruto. The, but he wasn't. Though, a good example. Was it wasn't him. at the end, though. That's it. Wait, wait. No, wait wasn't. Exactly, except for the end. That is well, the, the, that is the you, encompassing you, moment wait, wait, of everything no, happening. No, 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 that's, 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 no, wait, 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 no, 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 because it's all in lockstep, except for one difference here. Because you're all, broken. No, wait. Because that's not the thing. Because when I made the video, it was the moment we found out what Naruto was. Boom. Neji was right, clearly. And he was right uh, but I stated like that. the last fucking chapter. So the whole point here, and this is a very good situation we did. You should read Magi. Sinbad, no, no, yes. No. Sinbad does this perfectly. Where Sinbad and Magi is on the tracks of Destiny, but then he actually rewrites that whole thing directly. That's how you fucking do it. The but only Naruto way did the same thing. No, 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 no. no. They, they the, the only way to renege Destiny is to completely go against what Destiny ordained to do. That's what Naruto action. did. No, yeah, and they did. And no, 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 no. Because Naruto fulfills once the again, prophecy. Once tale. again, Wait, the only thing Destiny. Naruto, would... Okay, mm -hmm. Jesus Look, Christ. In Shippuden, if Naruto doesn't fight Sasuke, Destiny's reneged. In Shippuden, if he doesn't become friends with all the tail beasts, it's reneged. All right. If he's not Ashura Indra, all that bullshit, it's reneged. That's how destiny works. And if he kills Sasuke, wouldn't make, then that wouldn't make it. That wouldn't make it destiny. And if he wasn't, if he wasn't Ashura's reincarnation, then he wasn't destined anyway. Destiny. No, but that's all destiny because that all happens. And everything no, they, they were literally... destined to continue the cycle. And no, no. It. Okay, okay. Here's the problem. You're ignoring every other aspect of destiny until the very, no, very end. No, 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 we, no, no. We okay. agree with destiny. Okay, we agree with everything that was destined to happen, but the ending is like, okay, look, they broke the cycle. They broke. They broke destiny. Which we, we which I've already said. That's when he broke the cycle. Yeah, but that yeah, but, but that then at the end of the day, the ninja was wrong. No, no, no. no. That doesn't renege what happened prior to it. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. What the fuck? <laughs> so we're done. So we're that, done. That's still, no, 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 no. Yes, done. you're right. We are done. Because that means yes. Neji at the end of the day was wrong. Because at the Neji end, the cycle was at the no, on. he was not. He was he was spot on until the very moment where he needed to be right the most, he was wrong. Because Naruto yeah. breaks the chain of the cycle. He breaks destiny. So the one the moment, so the no. one moment where Neji needs to be right in order for this argument to be one hundred percent valid, he is wrong because Naruto well, right breaks the destiny. The That's why you always said the cage door thing. The reason cage, why no. that the reason why that doesn't matter is because the majority leads up to that very moment at the end when Naruto breaks the cycle. If Naruto doesn't break the cycle, you got it, King. You're right. But yeah. guess what? He he broke the cycle. Again, that's why Neji even was even Haguromo. On. Specifically states himself right before he gives Naruto his power. He says, and I quote, as yeah, well as no no, as well, and from this point on, Naruto and Sasuke, what you both shall do and what shall transpire will be up to the two of you. Meaning this is no longer predetestant, uh, pre pre uh predetermined. This is a completely new path being wrote by both Naruto and Sasuke. Hagoromo states this himself. Right before Which, he gives Naruto no, no, and Sasuke no, 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 the, no, no. the power of the sage. Yes, he no, says this. No, no, because again... I just read it, just read it no. off the panel. What are you talking about? Because, again, they complete every aspect of that prophecy. I just, I just read it off the panel. panel. What are you talking about? But hold on, dude. Show yeah, the panel. Show I'm the getting panel. you. I'm getting you. All right? Remember that. Right. And again, it, that, again, that does not matter. Because, because he is Ashra, and the motherfucker is Indra. And they complete that, and they finalize it. They did, though. They didn't complete it. 
They didn't they, complete it. They didn't. They didn't. They did. The, the, no, to no, they didn't. End the cycle, right? That's completion. One no, of them has not. to die. No, it's not. The, the cycle would have been one of them dying, and then okay, next incarnation. Who's up next? Wait, time out, time out. Does you end the cycle, right? They end. No, it, so yes. they completed. It. So it's no longer no, the engine. No, I Ultra cycle. The cycle. Okay, the okay, cycle's okay, been okay, broken. Okay, <laughs> the whole point of the cycle okay. is that they I'm constantly okay. are at war with each other. You have an incarnation of an injury. You have an war with each other. Okay, okay. I guess terminology. When I say complete, I mean it's over. It's done, right? It's over. Yes. Mm, okay, so it's done. Cool. Okay, so cool. So the cycle is done. Fair yeah. enough. Again, I've already made that from the very beginning. Yes. But what yeah. I'm saying is that at the end of the damn day, the problem is that all the prophecies come true, right. and no, they don't. His soul and Not and all of them. Not who all is he? Don't. Maybe one. I don't know. There's like yeah. nine of these things. I don't fucking know anymore. But that's and fine. that's fine. And okay, fuck. Fair enough. And at the end of the damn day, he is still Ashra. That's his he's soul. Not, he's not. Naruto. He's Naruto. He's Naruto now. At the end, end, end he's of the not, series. He's, no, he's not. Maybe because at the, end, at the end of the series, if he was Ashra, he would fail in the cycle. But he doesn't. Exactly. He's Naruto. And the same, the, the same no. way that Sasuke is not it literally, it, it literally proves that Naruto is different from Ashra yeah, by yeah, breaking no, no, the cycle yeah, when yeah, Ashra yeah, couldn't no. break it. Because Ashra's know, a there, failure. No, no, because there's one one difference. Yeah, you're right. There was one difference. I'm sorry. Let me change that. 99% of who Naruto is is Ashra, but there is one difference. We don't know that, though. No, no we, the, no, we do know. We don't know, he, he said, know that. He said, he said like, that. no, when, when it was revealed, he said, literally, you're just like Ashra in, like, every ass in every way, with one exception. You're dumb. Just like Kashirama was like Ashra. <laughs> but that, well, that's no, all two, I need. two differences. That's all I need. Naruto's that's not a the, failure. That's Ashra the, is. Fuck it. Because he's still vast majority Ashra. That's all I need. I'd say we're done. Like, you're banging on one moment at one point in time. I'm going to give the entire the most important period. moment. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it literally doesn't it matter. Does. It, it does. Because it proves that he's point throughout the entire of the season. It's not. That dude's entire point is that cage bird's going to be a cage bird for the rest of his life. They're not cage birds at the end of it. They, they open the cage. Right. No, he's not. The second the, he the second he breaks the, the cycle, they're no longer in the cage. Yes, I've already made that, but that again. So then the, he's wait, wrong. wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. But, but he but he fulfills every other prophecy. That, that, that's why I'm so confused. It's like I've already admitted that he breaks the fucking cycle, but he fulfills every other shit, so I don't care. I just no, don't no, no, care. No, no. You, you can't you say have, you, can... you can't say that because if you say, "Look, I admit they broke the cycle," you have to also say, is "I admit that Neji was wrong." You have to is, say both wait, of them. Wait, 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 wait. Is he one of the children of the prophecy? Yes, he yes. is. Okay. Did he have the power to destroy the world or save the world? Yes, yes. he did. Did Sasuke and him? Uh, did they take down um, um, uh, Kaguya? Yes, they did. Was Naruto the child with blue eyes and and um, uh, blonde hair to confront all the tail beasts? Like the to yes, yes. It's like what? Okay, Did and then Naruto finally, kill Sasuke or wait, Sasuke kill no, Naruto? No. So Naruto's one for five. Like I, that's I, fine. I'm, okay, so then that's right. So then right there is the fundamental difference. You can say that one moment renex everything. I say it doesn't. That's it. Easy clap. Easy clap. And I'm allowed that right because it's 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 all there. It's all there. I mean, ultimately, the end result is. All right. So this is interesting. So I'm though. looking up. I'm looking up the official translation, right? This is Viz Media, mm -hmm. okay? Because what Cole's talking about was fan translation. And in the official translation, right. um, Haguromo says, you are quite similar to my son. He didn't say specifically, you are a one for one. Where's the page right here? Okay. Oh, he, he, says didn't say one for one. Yes, he didn't say one So one he one. says, and you are truly quite similar to Ashura in your actions as well. So he doesn't specifically state in that action, him and Asha right, are form. literally no, but he doesn't because you're make your your the, the thesis of your argument is based on the fact that Ashura and Naruto are one for one. They are exactly no. the same. No, yes, no, yes, you no. literally just said they're one to one. Chilton, I literally just said that the vast majority of Naruto is Ashura, except for like one major exception, which is I think he was dumb. So there was an exception to the rule. There was a difference for Naruto than there was for Ashura. I said like nine times in discussion. I'm pretty sure I said like nine or ten times that Naruto and Ashura are pretty much the same. No, Cole, you did say one to one different. multiple times. You did say one. Oh my god! Yeah, you did say he was one to one many, many what? times already. Okay, well, yes. we watched the VOD because I'm absolutely positive. No, we were we were here. We heard no, it live. We, 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 I literally we said that Naruto and Sasuke were. No, I literally said that Naruto and Sasuke 
where 99%, I mean, not Naruto and Ashura, were like 90% the same nigga, except for like, he's dumber. Something like that. It was some quote that he said. I think he said both. I think he said 99 and one to one. Okay, so there you go. Boom. I'm looking up the official translation stuff right now. Okay, fair enough. You can do that. You can do that. Because that's who Naruto is. It's, 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 it's an easy clap. It's really, it's really, not, it's really not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I mean, you haven't proven how, but all right. Fuck it. I mean, you still haven't proven how Neji was right, but you know. Because he was right for the vast majority of the series. With He's most of not, the Yeah, but when you're old, but not all. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait the last wait, round, he was wrong. Okay, wait, hold on, wait, bye, 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 bye. Hold on, 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 and we all agree. And, <laughs> except for one. Yep. That's it. That's it. Well, the, the, one that, the one that you agreed is the most important one. Maybe. I don't know. Is? Oh, my God. It, it, it's literally <laughs> like, yo. One for five. Like, in, I don't, the context, in the context of the story, it is the most important one. <laughs> if He's you're in a race, Cole. Selfie, what's up? Like, bro, Cole, if you're in a race, and I'm ahead for 99.9% .9 of the time, but I fumble at the very end, doesn't that mean I failed? You know? No. And, it, oh, because, it okay, so here's the official it's translation like, right here, right? It's like, it's like tennis games, all right? If you play a tennis match and then you win one out of five games, it's like, okay, well, who gives a fuck? Though? But, but you lose the championship. Do you? Like, you lost, come you back. Lost like, you, 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 yeah. Okay, so. That's, that's what happened. It was Nancy, once again, you know. here's, here's, the, um, here's the translation right here, right? The official translation. Okay. Where Haguruma states, long ago, I entrusted everything to little brother Ashura and didn't pay attention, any attention to the elder brother Indra. That proved to be the source of the calamity. And he's talking about, he's talking to Sasuke. He then says, prefer me your dominant arm. This time I shall share my powers with you, Indra's reincarnate. Right? Because in Hagoromo's mind, he believes... Wait, 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 hold on. Real quick, which calamity is he talking about? Out of curiosity, which calamity? He's literally talking about the cycle. That's all it is. A calamity cycle, okay. Yeah. And then Hagoromo then states as well, and from this point on, Naruto and Sasuke, what you both shall do and what shall transpire will be up to the two of you. Okay. Meaning everything after this point on is not predetermined. Yep. Wait, hold on, Tama. Is he still Ashra and he's Sasuke Lundra? That doesn't matter because Hagoromo no, literally wait, states wait. at this point on wait. what shall transpire will be up to the two of you, meaning is not predetermined. But still, wait, but they still have the final fight, right? Right, but it, it's, it's still not pre... It's, it's, yeah, but it's still not pre... It's still, it's still, right. it's still, it's still not predetermined. Fucking hell. You still have the final fight. Like, what the but it's still fuck? not no, predetermined. No, no, it's not predetermined because even then they could have lost against Kaguya. Exactly, because this is before the Kaguya fight. This is before Kaguya, so they could have easily lost at Kaguya, and that's it. Done. And then another thing that's interesting, I'm going to bring this up. Hold on. Let me go back to the chapter here. Mm -hmm. Is when Hagurum was initially talking to uh, Naruto, he's making it seem as if Naruto, Naruto is the reincarnation of Asha. This is 100% confirmed. But in the language that Hagurum uses, talking about Asha, it seems more as if he's talking about, it was almost as if it was um, coincidental that Ashura and Naruto shared similar paths to how they gained their power. And I'm going to get to that page. Hold on, give me a second. Thank you for clarifying my position. I appreciate that. All right, dope. Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, All right. Your, pos your position at the end oh. of the day is still wrong. Uh, I mean, it's, it's one out of five. You're, you're only mean, using, I, you're, at this point, because you're using, you're using oh, semantics to say, hey, look, I'm right, but you're using semantics. I'm not using semantics. Yes, you I've are. Already, I've already admitted, all these, I, I've already admitted from the jump years ago that, yeah, they break the cycle at the end. I've, I've already admitted that. Like, I understand. It's so, like, yes, it's, 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 meaning Naruto it's like, broke destiny, meaning he, he, yes, he proved Naruto Neji wrong. Broke, yeah, Naruto broke one of, like, the five prophecies. Congratulations. There was only one prophecy. All it takes is one. There was only one, but there was only one prophecy. 
Does he still become the fucking goddamn kid that leads the tail beast? Yes. He's like, what the fuck? Stop. Does he still have the final fight? That yes. wasn't. He still that have the power to change the that, world. Okay, or okay, the world? For, okay. First yes. of all, you're, you're confusing the the children of prophecy with what the toad say. The toad say no, can see. No, the toad no, say can no, see into the no, future. No, no, no. You know, you know what it is, dude. It's like some weird gaslighting shit. Because no, it's, it's like, not. No, because here's the problem. Like what you're talking about is what the no, toad say no, no, said, no, and the toad say can no, see no, into the wait, future. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. The problem here is that. Like I've been saying for a while now, destiny is ultimately a track of destiny. And if Naruto completes the prophecies, that is destiny. The only way you renege that is if you go against that grain. All right, that, that's literally it. And he did it one time, which I said, okay, cool. I'm fine with that. But the other ones follow all the same. That's so, not necessarily true either. Right. So because the Toast the to- Sage also, oh, okay. the Toast Sage was... Uh, oh. The so, toe sage so, was the toe sage was hesitant to give Naruto okay. the key to unlock the eight trigrams from Minato. So Let's, if if the toe sage was a hundred percent accurate about the destiny of Naruto being friends with Kurama, he would give him the key, no problem. But he still man. hesitated to give him the key. So my man, what then? My man, my man, my man. Now you're nitpicking. I'm not talking about the details of the key and the trigrams and the sixty four palms and the that falls under wood. the category of Naruto no, befriending no, no, Kurama because no, no. he can't he can't befriend Wait. Kurama if he doesn't have the key to unlock Kurama. I do not care because that okay. is not the point. Right. The point is All that right. is there a prophecy? Right. Does it fill it? Yes, he does. All right, so that's it. That's it. Okay, that's it. It's like that, you want to go that, like the, that literally because, makes but, no sense. No, because again, he fulfills the prophecy as it's told on several fronts with Sasuke, and then you want to nitpick. Well, actually, it was the key. No, but you did. That, that's what in you order, just did. No. In what? order for Naruto right. Right. to gain full control of Kurama, he needs the key to unlock Kurama. Does he not? What if in the entire series he never became friends with Kurama and still got the job done? Oh, that's how you renege destiny. That's how you fucking do it. Because the prophecy isn't fulfilled. That's my point. That's all my point. You're literally talking about something that's headcanon. I'm not talking about headcanon. Yes, you are. You, 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 literally, you literally just said, well, what if this didn't happen? Yes, because I'm, I'm giving you an example and of I'm how giving you. Destiny, and I'm, but but I'm, giving saying, you, I'm giving you an example of something that's actually happened in the series. Something that's actually stated by a character in the series. When you're giving man. me examples of, well, what if this didn't happen? Or what if this did happen? When I'm giving you an example of what actually happened okay, in okay. the manga. Wait, 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 wait. I'm giving you a hypothetical. And the reason I'm and doing I'm not, that... And I'm not. Okay, yes, because you're putting my point. What I'm trying to tell you is that in your example of all the details of how it led up to, uh, to, to Naruto getting the power of the tail beast of, of Kurama, that goes along the line of him becoming friends with all the tail beasts like the prophecy had foretold. So that happened, okay? Now Naruto became friends with all the tail beasts. Boom. Final power to Sasuke. Happened. Boom. Have power to save the world and so on with Sasuke. Boom. Happened. All these things happened wholesale, through and through, for the entire series, and then when it finally cuts off, it's at the very, very end. Congratulations. But every other track of Destiny follows through all the same. That's my argument. That's it. That's it. Again, I've admitted to from years ago that he already cut Destiny when he beat Sasuke. I've already admitted that years ago. That's not an issue with me. That's not. It never has been. The issue I have is the things prior leading up to that. If you would, the execution of it. Was it good? And it clearly, I'd argue, wasn't good. And the reasons why? I've said them ad nauseum. And that's it. That's literally it. So at the end of the damn day, day, Neji is one for five. No, because does that one no. mean more than a five? It probably no, does. No, but, I, because, but, it, but, but it doesn't have to. That's you're, it. Because you're, you're literally saying that you... No, 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 no. You literally, I mean, you're literally saying no, 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 that no, no, you no, no, understand... No, 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 that destiny was broken while also saying Neji was right despite the fact that destiny was broken. You can't have because, it both ways. Because the other tracks of destiny that, weren't broken. That's it. That's it. That's that's what we have. That's what okay. we have. Of I, think you're for, I think you're forgetting. 
in Neji in Neji in Neji speech, Neji says in Neji speech, Neji says that you are controlled by a destiny. You have no say in what happens. Destiny okay. controls all. Controls okay. all. He and he likened it to being a bird in a cage. Yes. Right. So how is yeah. it that you're saying that Neji was right when Neji himself says you cannot break destiny? But Naruto breaks destiny while you're also admitting that Naruto breaks destiny. But you're also admitting that Neji says you can't break destiny. You can't have it both ways. Okay, because you're looking at it as one track. No, I'm multiple... literally just telling you what Neji just said. Like, that's what Neji said. Justin, 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 you can't ask me a question and then I'm answering the question and you can't cut me off like that. Because you're, try try you're trying to lead into I'm You're trying to lead into semantics, no, no. bro. I'm you're not, trying to lead into semantics. I'm trying to tell you exactly what's happening here, okay? The reason why <laughs> Neji is right is because in the vast majority of cases, he is correct. Meaning that in the Burn the Cage, he still became friends with all the tail beasts. That happened through and through. Nothing went against that grain. He was still friends with the tail beast, period. End of story. We're done. Video of Sasuke. That happened? Yes. We're done. Completed. Was he a was he the person to have the power to change the world or not? Like it was foretold in Jiraiya's book and so on. Yes, that happened. Done. That's it. Like literally, all these plot points of destiny happened through and through without any change in the prophecy or any change in how not to operate as a character. In fact, no, those big changes. I'm sorry, because he's Ashra. Except for one. That's all why right, I've always what? admitted years ago, years ago, I've always admitted, yes, one of them was wrong. And he wound up breaking the cycle and saving Sasuke. All Congratulations. Right, so but I'm going to just speaking, use your logic. I'm just going to use your logic. Congratulations. Okay. Neji was right all the way up into a certain point until he was wrong. So therefore, he was wrong the whole point, the whole time. Congratulations. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use your logic. It doesn't matter. Because Neji, 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 Neji specifically states that you can't, you can't, you have no say in your destiny. Destiny controls all. You can't do nothing about it. But Naruto did something about it. Therefore, proving Neji 100% wrong, because it doesn't matter if everything that leads up to the ending was destined, because Naruto still did the one thing that Neji said you can't do. Which was break destiny, and that's all I'm trying oh, to say. How can... he broke the cage that was wait, supposed wait, to wait, hold wait, him wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. How can you say that when he's still friends with the Tibbs to this day? That doesn't matter. It does matter. No, that's destiny. No, that was destiny. No, it, doesn't. Was destiny. No, it yes, doesn't. was. That's because destiny. I'm you're using semantics. What no, I'm, I'm using? What? Yes, you are. Because what I'm using here I, is Neji's. What I'm using here is Neji's exact words, which were, "You cannot." Get out of Destiny's control. Those were his exact words in his speech. Destiny controls he, all. He, Des wait, destiny destiny controls all. Then you admit you're wrong. Because Destiny, because no. no, Neji like states, because Neji states you can't, once again, Cole, listen. Neji states you can't control Destiny no matter what. You can't break free from Destiny no matter what. But Naruto does. Therefore, breaking Neji's ideology. Neji was wrong because the you can't you can't say that you lead up all to these points. That's what makes Neji right because it was all predetermined and destined. But then there's one thing that wasn't predetermined and wasn't destined. Naruto breaks it, but Neji's still right, even though Neji says you can't control destiny, but Naruto actually did control his destiny. No, no, no. This is such a fundamental misunderstanding of it all. It's 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 weird. Again, it's like I've already admitted that he broke this one track of destiny. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, he did. I've already admitted that, like time and time again. Like, I don't so know why you're wrong. No, no, because again, I told you because it still doesn't renege what happened prior to it all. That's the difference here. Because you view it all as one chain, but it's not written as one chain. It's written as here's this thing, here's that thing, here's that thing that are all prophesized in their own unique way, and then all these things happen except for one thing that doesn't happen, which ends the cycle. That's so, that, that's literally it. That's but, fundamental. But Neji, no, 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 Neji, Neji, once again, Neji talks about destiny as it's it's one chain. You can't break. You can't break away from destiny. This is what Neji says. Not, you can't break not, away from destiny, dude. If it's one chain. That would mean that he's no longer friends with the Tail Beast by defeating Sasuke. Or, I guess, We're not Sasuke. talking about that. We're talking about... You just what, said it was one chain. Ned, I'm talking about what Neji said, which was you can't break away from Destiny versus what Naruto did, which is oh. what actually he did. Neji says 
you can't break away from destiny so how can you therefore explain naruto breaking destiny admitting that naruto break broke destiny and then because still saying the that Neji was majority, right because in the vast majority of times he doesn't break destiny That's because it. if Neji was right then that means naruto would have filled the cycle then because Neji is no no because yes. Neji is no, yes. no, 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 no. Because again, I already mentioned that he already broke a cycle. But all the other tracks of Destiny are still the same. There's the, the they still play out all the same way. That's it. That's all I have to look at. That's literally it. That's how again we fundamentally disagree when it comes to what Destiny is. That's it. We fundamentally disagree on what Destiny is. No, Destiny, is this, I'm verbatim no, going what Neji said, and you're not. No, I am because no, I'm not. looking at hey. Neji said that you can't break destiny, you can't overcome these tracks, you can't right. XYZ in the other, right? Okay. Right. Naruto right. had several prophecies that were foretold around him. The vast majority of them were correct except for one. So he broke destiny on one link, and the others are still there. Now that's semantics. That's semantics. That's, semantics. That's, that's, that's semantics 101. Look, look. look. I already look, you already know. You, you, you gotta look at it. Look, look. Told, no, no, no. I already right. told you. Wait, 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 hold on. I already told you that he couldn't again, him be, be friends with, with the tail beast. That happens. That's a link. It, it, it's it's still the same. That still applies to this day in Boruto. So what the fuck are you talking about? What? Why are we bringing up Boruto? That's not like. I'm saying it still applies to this day. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It still applies to this day that Naruto is the friends of the right. tail beast. He's the only one that's that way, and he was prophesied the child with blue eyes and blonde hair. But why that are you bringing up like that? Boruto? Okay, okay, wait, okay, wait. I brought up Boruto as the representation of hey, it's still a thing to this day. Meaning that in Naruto, it applies all the same. So in Naruto, he was friends with Tail Beast through and through, even when he became Hokage at the very, very end, chapter 700. That's still a link of destiny that came true all the same. That's it. He didn't escape that birdcage, so that still happens. Hello? What? That makes literally absolute no sense, bro. How? If he's still because friends with Tail Beast. If, he, if, oh, oh, if, oh. if he's in the birdcage, then the cycle will continue between him and Sasuke. No, no, no. That's why I said before, you view it as one track. And I'm telling you, Kishimoto has shown it wasn't one track. Because Neji, there are other But Neji views it as one track. That's the thing. But it's not, because Kishimoto wrote it where well, it was. But Neji was wrong. But Neji was wrong. So then no. Neji was wrong. Oh, yo, 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 yo. point was that you couldn't escape destiny. Naruto, for the vast majority, couldn't escape destiny for one thing. That was it. That's the so point. You, so you escaped destiny. Thank you. Escaped you. He's, 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 destiny. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Said, okay, so now let's do this. Let's do this. So wait, now, wait, let's wait, say, wait, now, wait, let's wait. say if Cole was right. Let's say, let's say if Cole was right. And there's multiple, there's multiple destiny points. Is he still friends with the tail beast? No, no, that doesn't matter. Now let's say, let's say if Cole was right. No, it doesn't matter. Here's why. Let's say if Cole, let's say if Cole was right. No, no, no. Let me. Let's say. Let's say if Cole was right. Let's say Cole was right. Let's say. Let's say Cole was right. Yes, he's friends with the tail beast. Now let's say Cole. Now let's say if Cole was right. Now let's say there's multiple destinies that are bound to occur. And in Neji's speech, he says, no matter what, doesn't matter how many destinies you have, you can't well, break what? any of them because ne uh, because destiny is predetermined. You have no say in your destiny, Yo, right? You so it doesn't, it, with, you no, no, no. Go. I'm just saying if you're right, right? No, let's just let's just go on this on the somatic jump here and say, let's say you're right. No, 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 because you're saying no, no, because no, 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 because I'm saying no. Listen, listen. No, I do. No, you're the one adding multiple destinies. I'm not using your yes. What? How is no? Listen. So there's, no, there's not multiple destinies. Wait, there's not. There's right, not multiple right, prophecies. Right, wait, there's wait, not. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This is not. This, this, so it's not wait, one wait, chain. There's wait, multiple wait, chains. Wait, as you're wait, saying. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Stop. You literally right. just said there's wait, multiple wait, wait, destinies. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We're getting too hitty right now. All right. God damn it. The problem here. Okay. You know what? No. There are multiple destiny tracks. My bad. Yes, they are. Okay. The problem is that you made it seem like that you you expanded Nenji's definition. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You just no, did that in no, I didn't. real time. What I, specifically, what I said Nenji's was... No, Nenji's what I specifically said was, let's say if Cole is right. Let's say if you're right, right? Now, let's say if your logic is right. Then that would mean no, that Neji not... was accounting for multiple destinies, right? And, and no. let's say... Now, let's say if he didn't. Okay, fine. Let's say, let's say he didn't account for multiple destinies. He was only just counting one. And in his theory, no matter what, you can't break destiny but yet somehow naruto still breaks in your in your case one destiny still proves neji wrong because neji's ideology is no matter what you can't break it no matter what 
you are tied to this destiny no matter what so it doesn't matter if there's one or there's 18 and Neji's ideology you cannot break destiny you are preordained to live the way you're supposed to live but naruto breaks that destiny doesn't matter if there's one doesn't matter if there's 18 because naruto still breaks one where Neji says you can't break any of them you expanded his definition to it has to encompass all destinies Neji never said that I'm sticking to the story. You had you you branched oh, out. Chat, I didn't, that, that, is not, that, that is not. That is not. That is absolutely <sighs> actually not true. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. No, you just expanded it out. No, I didn't. I just specifically. Problem. I just specifically stated if you're if you're right in this particular portion of this argument, then Neji would account for all destinies. I said no. you. I said if you were right. I didn't say this happened in the manga. I've been no. saying for like the last hour no. that no. Neji no. counts this as one destiny, and I've been using what he's actually been stated in the manga. You have the not. Prob- no, I have. The problem here is that what you're saying is that all these other components of destiny that fulfill that are in that are not even a part of the actual original track of the, the like the like the bigger cycle, if you would, between Naruto and Sasuke. These tracks don't mean shit. How do you That's know that? what you think. Because, you know because, you've, because you've laid that out here in this whole conversation. You've laid out here where it doesn't matter what happens prior to it as long as he broke the Sasuke and Naruto in Joshua cycle. So all the shit that happened prior to it with, with, with all the prophecies are worthless. That's what you said. That's I didn't what say you that. basically no, no, no. That's what you basically said. You said, oh, okay, well, who gives a shit? Because the one that matters the most was broken. That's what you literally said. And you on. also said, well, who gives a shit? Because Neji's one for five. So we could go back yes. and forth all day. Yes. So, so, you, so, so let me get this right. Just it. because you're King of Lightning, you can say I'm right because Neji's one no, for five. No. But when I say none of that stuff that is preordained to encompass a final ending point and that ending point does not come to fruition, I'm wrong for saying none of that stuff matters because the ending point that was supposed to happen doesn't. Jotun, Jotun that's a flat out fabrication. Because it's literally, literally you just did. No, 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 no. I've been saying for the vast majority of this conversation that you are right. You are right when it comes to him breaking the cycle. I have not denied that. It's how we fundamentally view destiny where we have to differ. Because I can't see in terms of, oh, fuck. Well, he broke one chain. Therefore, he's being destiny. No, because the vast majority of the links are still there. That's how we fundamentally, as people, Differ because I view it from a far more religious I, perspective. I, you I, don't. I, I, look, look. This is how I, I view it. it. This is how I view it. We fundamentally no, that's, that's it. Neji, that's it. Neji would be one hundred percent right if everything that was supposed to be destined to happen happens. Yes, but he's no yeah, longer on the right. But it does. But he's not right because of just that one thing. He's exactly. not one hundred percent. Because in order, right. in, order, in order for him to be right, he has to be batting a thousand. Exactly. He's four in, for five. In order, so this is the way destiny is supposed to be. He's one destiny, for five. No, uh, four for destiny, five. Four for five. destiny, one. destiny. No, 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 right. One, one, no, one for five being that he got the one thing wrong. He's supposed he to be the right. Other right. Goal. Is the other way. Oh, oh, fine, fine, fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny, <laughs> destiny is supposed to be something that's preordained. You can't control what happens in your destiny. This is literally the definition of destiny. You have no control. You have no, no say. No, no, supposed- no, no. That's not true. Okay, okay. So again, that, like, this is where we fundamentally disagree. Everything that you do is destiny. That's the difference here. So whether you work hard, whether you try and fight it or not, whether you commit crimes or evil deeds, good or bad, that is all destiny. That's why I mentioned before about how Christians sometimes view God. Where no matter what you do in your life, God has a plan for you. It doesn't matter what the fuck you do. Literally. Because destiny is a higher order of power that we can't comprehend. So that's the difference here. You can try and fight destiny, but that in of itself is a part of destiny. I mean, you're losing your voice. I know. So, I'm arguing so all people. of a sudden, Neji can comprehend destiny then? I mean... No, no. That's where we want to disagree. Because I admitted, I admitted before that because he was able to literally stop the cycle... That means that he broke a link of destiny. Holy shit. Okay, cool. But the other links of destiny are still there. They're still there at the end of Naruto. They don't change. They're still and there. They still exist. So I am what saying, I'm saying, 
So, so, so all I'm saying, going back to um, Silent's point, I think it's Silent, right? Is that Neji is for, he's, wait, one for five? One for five? Four for five. Four for five, right? Fuck, I'm flipping. Whatever. The vast majority of the links are there except for one. So Neji, in the vast majority of cases, was correct, except for one case, which I've admitted years ago. That's it. That's why I say that Neji's still right. Because in the vast majority of cases, he's right. You can predict the weather right one out of five days. You're right that one time. Congratulations. But you're wrong the other five times. That has absolutely That's nothing to do with what Neji said, bro. <laughs> Neji really talked about know. how you couldn't fight against Destiny. Naruto couldn't fight against Destiny for the vast majority of cases for one. That's okay, it. so let's look at the chapter. Neji says your fate is to lose to me. We saw how that fucking turned out. That's a yeah. fact. We saw how that turned out. Okay. okay so whatever, he was, okay. Uh, Mate, you can't, you you can't know that for sure well, until we try. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can't even imagine how much pain you felt when your father was killed, but I think you're wrong to conclude that everyone's destinies are predetermined. This is literally what I've been saying. Neji has been saying the whole time that no matter what, your destiny is predetermined. And if that okay. is the case, then Naruto cannot break the cycle. It doesn't matter how many no, links there are. It does not matter how many links there are. Wait, hold on. It does not matter how many links there are because Neji is saying it's predetermined you can't break it, but Naruto breaks it. So Neji's wrong. No, keep reading. Keep reading. I'm gonna keep. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Don't worry. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. saying that's that's where I am coming from. Continue. You will never break the chain. <laughs> I just, I just well, like wait, to point out that right? Neji and pointed out both something that related to fate and something that related to destiny, and they are not the same. For clarification. Fate and destiny. Okay. I don't know. He was such a big fan of the streamer. Damn. Yep. The goat. I mean, is that it? I think that's it. I'm. We're on page. This last page here. Look, okay. So the only other thing here through. is Neji asks Nard. So can I ask you something? Why do you keep trying so hard to defy your destiny? And then Nard says, "Because somebody saw with failure." Okay. Okay. Keep on moving, and this is where Neji gets clapped. Okay. The, this is when the fox, the fox shocker comes out. And he gets clapped. <laughs> okay. So, so I mean, I don't, what, this, so, this, this, this proves so, my point. That Neji believed that no matter what, destiny was predetermined. And if that's the case, you Naruto won't be able to break the destiny because it's predetermined for him to fail, like every other incar, uh, incarnation Wait. prior to him. I mean, honestly, I think it proves my point. I'll be with you. I'll be frank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's obvious. It proves my point because I mean, once the chain is broken. Oh my god. Because again, he breaks one chain out of all the other chains. That's it. Because because everything. Okay. Everything's the same. Once again, what I'm I understand what you're saying, but you're not understand what I'm saying. No, what I I'm do. saying no. Then you, you don't. Because then then no, you will no, be no, like, no, oh, this no, makes no, sense. No. But you're not no, saying. No, that. no, no, no. Because no, no. Like I said at the beginning. Because again, we've gone in circles for a while. If you haven't noticed, you said before, verbatim, that him breaking the cycle with Sasuke was the most important chain of destiny that he broke. Okay, so it doesn't you're putting matter. Words up. I never said change. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh my God. I'm, I'm being. I'm being. I'm, oh my. It's not verbatim. Okay. But you said something to the effect of because the cycle ended, the rest of it doesn't matter. Is that fair to say that you said something of that sort? Is that fair? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Okay. So what I'm saying is that because he broke one or he broke this line of destiny, doesn't then renege the other ones that weren't broken. That's it. You will never break the chain. Let, let me read this one more time. Okay, oh, so, so you can understand where like... I'm coming from. <laughs> I think you're word. wrong to conclude that everyone's destinies are predetermined. Keyword here being predetermined. Yes. Yes. Okay. So how is Naruto good? It doesn't matter how many destinies there are at this point. Because if each destiny is predetermined, that means Naruto can't break the cycle. So how does he break the cycle? cycle. That, it doesn't I, matter. I Okay, uh, hold on, time out. That's what no, we because we, Neji is saying no matter no matter what, my it's man. predetermined. My man, my man, my man, my man. Do you know what man. predetermined means? Wait, well, okay, yeah, I know. And guess okay. what? For the vast majority of them, they were predetermined and they still reside to this day, except for one. Right. And that one is the one that proves Neji's whole ideology wrong. <laughs> because Neji <laughs> says destiny because is Neji predetermined. Is but it's Bro. still four for five. That's it the doesn't... point. 
that doesn't matter because Neji is talking about a whole Neji no Neji yes Neji is talking about holistically Neji is talking about holistically speaking that Destiny. No, don't, don't. What are you North talking semantics. about, semantics? It's literally in the manga chapter, bro. I literally just, I literally showed the chat. I literally just read it verbatim off the chapter. Viz Media. Shelton, we heard you repeat that a few times. Yes, and you still don't understand that. No, 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 I understand it. Okay, I've already said that he is, in the vast majority of cases, he's right. But he's wrong for the final destiny point. Yes, I agree. Right, so that means me he's completely question, wrong. Guys. But he's still right. one for five. Oh, oh my go, God. Go, 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 go. Let me ask this question. Is it fair to say that Neji believes that destiny is fate? Because that's the only reason why Neji was like, this is predetermined? For him? Because, yeah, but the concept... Well, at, the time, at the time, and then he learned that... Uh, yeah, at the could, time, yeah, but the concept of destiny... Well, because he learned, he learned that his dad broke destiny, too, so it kind of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because exactly. uh, destiny can be Why broken. Why do you know that he was proven wrong anyway? Yeah, 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 he was literally... He's proven wrong yeah. multiple times in the chapter. Yes, his father yes, broke yes, destiny, yes. he lost to Naruto, and then Naruto breaks the cycle. <laughs> the nigga's wrong yeah. three times in one yeah. chapter. Yeah. You're talking about, yo, he's like one for five. What are you talking about? Neji! Ned, Neji talked um, about fate about when he was like, it's your fate to lose to me, nice, right? Nice fate is seven. something that nice cannot be seven. broken. But it, Neji should have said, it's your destiny to lose to me, because then he would have been, you know, less wrong when he when he actually lost right fate is something that's predetermined we that's that and, is concrete and he's also yeah. wrong about his uncle because his uncle escaping death is also breaking his quote-unquote predetermined destiny because he was supposed to die yeah like neji neji was bringing up fate and destiny and does clearly didn't have the correct oh context God. of any of them the problem is that we're talking about Naruto, dude. Like, what the fuck? Drink water. How do we, how do we go to? I mean, like, no, like, okay, I'm gonna do some more later. But the problem is that you guys just jumped over to Neji when we're talking about no, Naruto. No, because the, well, no, the whole point. No, the whole point is Naruto. No, no, yeah. yes, yes. The whole no. The whole point was Naruto's relation to destiny, and the foundation of that is what Neji said. And Neji for Naruto is right in the vast majority of cases, except for one. That's you know you can't wrong. do that. Wrong, That's the though. thing. Oh, you can't. Okay. Okay. The reason why you can't do that once again, Cole, is because uh, Neji is speaking holistically about the entirety of Destiny itself being predetermined. Therefore, meaning if the entirety of Destiny is predetermined, it doesn't matter how many different points of Destiny there are. If one is broken, his whole ideology falls because he's talking yeah. about it as a holistically entirety of destiny being predetermined meaning Basically, he has to bat for a thousand in order to be correct which he does not so he's wrong yeah. and he's wrong he multiple talking, times in one chapter we already specifically stated you're talking about neji and his destiny and his character i'm talking about naruto can we talk about naruto for a second for fuck's sakes naruto the character so the main get, character so naruto can you from, from, from and, neji was right no, no, I'm t Naruto had Neji. Neji better came about Destiny that was wrong for himself. No, but he's, no, but he's been wrong the entire time, though. No, no, because no, Naruto is specifically stated here. I think you're wrong to conclude that everyone's destiny. So this is not just his destiny he's talking about. He's talking once again holistically as an entirety. Everyone's destinies is predetermined. You can assume that characters like Rock Lee were destined to be failures, but he wound up overcoming that destiny to become a strong Shinobi. Bullshit, bullshit. He broke his destiny. I'm talking I'm talking about Naruto for fuck. So Naruto has distinct prophecies for his destiny, which he fulfills, and they exist to this day. So, but Neji's still wrong though. No, not for Naruto. He is though, because okay. he ain't banned a thousand. So that's why I said before, you don't have to. Okay, <laughs> not Neji is right for Neji was wrong on one. He's chain. right a lot of the time. So he's not even he right wrong. a lot of times. He, he was uh, wrong against the fight. For, he's wrong for one chain of destiny, but then the other still exists. That's not even true. I mean, so what you should call this? Neji so stated, so Neji, so Neji so stated so it was destiny that Naruto was supposed to lose. Is Naruto that didn't happen. And Neji, so Neji, 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 Neji didn't know about the truth of his father. Is so then so his father. Wait, hold on. Then his father so breaks right. his own destiny. Right? But, you know. Then he learns about his uncle breaking his predetermined death that was supposed to be destined for him to die. I'm talking about so Neji. he's wrong on three occasions. But here's the uh, thing, though. The reason uh, why Neji is important is because this is the whole crux of your argument that Neji is right. So how can Neji be right if you're now Neji. switching to Naruto? 
No, 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 no. You switched it to Neji. No, the, I no, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, 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 the reason why I brought up the whole Neji being wrong thing is because ultimately... This is, is, is gaslighting. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's hold, ultimate. Hold on. Gaslighting in real time. Hold up. Right. It's all a crux about his argument about fate and how it's inescapable. Ultimately, he's proven wrong when he hears the story about his father. So, And he's also proven wrong by when he said it was Naruto's fate to lose. And then ultimately, you saying that he's right because Naruto was the child of prophecy and destiny, when ultimately... It's not all proven right, but what he, what he, what, 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 it's not all proven right at the end of the day. So. Yeah, you're in a haunt. Vibe, you're actually correct. It's not all proven right. That's why I already admitted before that because he breaks one chain destiny, it's not all proven right. You're correct. Yeah, but like, but oh, yeah, wait, but, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Because again, but, like, it, again, wait, wait, wait. The, the reason why my voice is because it's one on five. The whole point here is that because he's not proven right in the vast majority of cases, this means that Naruto gets that dub against destiny one time. Congratulations. But the whole point here is that in Shippuden... But he said are, nobody's wait, fate wait, was... Wait, 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 hold on, wait on. There are distinct claims of prophecy and destiny that are made about Naruto. and Mainly Naruto, but Sasuke too. And it's exacerbated because of him being Ashra, obviously. That's a, that, that, that's a given. The vast majority of these claims for Naruto, not Neji, Naruto, the claim of destiny in the series that Neji makes applies to Naruto one, five, four out of five cases. One case is when he breaks that. Yeah, but the, uh, That's the reason, my point. Uh, I, I get that, but the part okay. I'm trying to say is that his whole point is that everyone's fate and destiny is, is, is uh, what is it, predetermined. It's not going to okay. be broken. Okay. But um, as soon as his point is broken by his finding out his story of his father, his thing is out the window. Immediately. Exactly. No. Immediately. Oh, okay, you know it's what? Not Let's talk about Bleach. Naruto Shippuden. Let's talk about Bleach. Bleach. Let's Why? go to Bleach. This is going to be a never-ending cycle of Cole being wrong and not wanting to admit it. We must, I mean, we must break the cycle. We must break the cycle. It's like, I've already... It's, it's, Bleach. I, I, I'm like, no, Bleach. listen, okay, Cole. No, no, no. I'm going well, like, to be serious here. I 100%... Like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, again, like, it's, been like, it's been like a pack on me. The problem is that, obviously, I think I'm right. But it's just that, because I've, I've, I've already given up so much legway, so much leeway. But I think that the problem is that we fundamentally view what destiny is. Like you said things before, no. like well, him working hard. Yeah, no, we do because you said before things. I'm like, using okay, well, what Neji said. Oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. You oh said things God. before. You said things before, like okay, well, he's working hard and that kind of stuff. Therefore, that like null and voids all this shit. No, it doesn't. Okay, obviously. You want to call it to argue? Yeah, I know we are because like again because we disagree <laughs> fundamentally, obviously. So the whole point here is that when you look at the vast number of cases, he's right, and you think that that doesn't matter because there's one case that proves it wrong. Yes, because exactly. once again, Neji holistically talks about predetermined destiny as this whole and prophecy thing. Meaning, in order for destiny to be predetermined in his viewpoint, everything has to be correct. Everything has to be correct. He cannot be wrong once. Because of him being wrong once, it completely breaks his ideology. This is why Neji, this is why Neji's character changes when he loses to Naruto and finds out about the truth of his father because he realizes he's wrong himself. That's no. why his character changes. No. It's literally in the manga. Listen, we've been through this before. We both read it, okay? The problem here is that you want to disregard the other ones that were spot on with Destiny, and I just won't do that. That's it. That's the only thing. So, and that applies to Naruto. Neji admits he's wrong whoa, whoa, himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, come on. All right, relax, okay? Yeah, your voice is fine because you have been arguing all damn day. The whole point here is that at the end of the damn day, there is more credence to show that when it comes to Naruto, the main character, Destiny had kept him in the cage for the vast majority of situations, which proves Denji's claim about Destiny to be more correct about Naruto. I don't so, care about so, it. So we're throwing, it. Away, we're throwing away the Destiny of Naruto was supposed to be a failure too then? It wasn't because Ashra wasn't a failure. But then I could just, put, I could just use your logic and say, well, that's a different Destiny point. No, it's not because he's that, that, that's his well, soul. You could argue he was a failure because he couldn't st couldn't uh, stop Indra. Okay, and so then the same thing, the same thing with Hashirama. They were oh, ultimately no. failures. Okay. So he was no, no, destined no, no, to no, fail. No, 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 no. Because Joe talked about him being a failure in terms of him not being able to be powerful or have having friends, not ending the cycle. No, I get my whole uh, argument has been about the cycle to begin with. Yes, so, and mine has not been. No, but the the but Cole, the whole thing about being a failure isn't isn't about strength at all. What? Because then, because Hashirama would immediately break that. No, that, no. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, time out. 
Naruto in part one thought that he was a failure. He was no, I, no, I get what you're saying, but uh, it's just that by the lay of the land, them being failures, it no. wouldn't make sense with Hashirama. Naruto wasn't a friend. failure. Ashra wasn't. Listen, no. Ashra failed. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Naruto, no. wait, hold on, man. Damn. All right, goddamn. Naruto was not a failure in Shippuden because Naruto clearly was able to gather people around him just like Ashra before him and was able to successfully be world-renowned at that point in time as a prominent, influential, major ninja. Uh, what ultimately made Naruto not a failure was him stopping the cycle. In his mind. No, that's literally what it is because that's the, what makes Hashirama a failure. Hashirama... He failed to stop oh, Madara. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Which failure are we talking about here? Are, are we talking about the failure of him not being viewed by the people or by the individual? He believed he was a failure because he was considered weak, and that's why. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But the yeah, failure, even, even Naruto himself <laughs> states multiple times in the series, if he can't save Sasuke, he would consider himself a failure. The failure is more of a symbolic him not saving the, the person. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's a given. I'm talking about what happened at the beginning of the time scale. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm talking about at the beginning of the series. And I've had drastic changes well, from then to now. That's all I'm saying. But it, I mean, <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, listen, I mean, it's easy. okay, it's not. It is. It's, it's, it's very not easy. because Naruto still fights to get everything that he wanted to get. It's not like fighting he, is part okay, of destiny. Yeah. Well, but here's my thing though. Like, you can't simply say he was destined to work hard. And therefore negates his working hard. You'd be your argument would be a lot stronger if this was like a Sasuke thing. Because Sasuke was one hundred percent destined to be strong. The man mm. the, and Sasuke's entire character was literally power up after power up after power up in terms of his his strength, not his character or how his character was. Argue, his fight, I mean, you could argue he worked hard, pretty hard too. I mean, his fight against Data, his fight against his brother Itachi. Yeah, but you know what? You know what allowed? You know what allowed? The one time Sasuke actually trained to obtain something that wasn't genetically given to him was Shidori. He got okay, everything look. else through genetics. Sharingan, okay. the three Tomo, Mangekyo Sharingan, EMS, Rinnegan was a was a hand me down, Susano, Amaterasu, Tsukiyomi. Okay, it's all genetic. The, wait, hold on, talk about the reason why, because it's very semantic about what means working hard in the world of Naruto, obviously. The reason why I went down that road of okay, well, Sasuke has worked hard too. Uh the reason why I went down that road was because him working hard, Naruto, I mean, specifically Naruto, is also in order to attain all these friends and so on, uh, in order to not be a loser, is along the same track as what Asher is. It's along the same pattern of destiny. That is also a foretold gone conclusion for Naruto's character because that's what not Asher is. Exactly. Exactly. So, so this yeah, is what that, we, no. So this that, is what that, Brandon Vibe has been trying to say the whole time. If he's exactly like Ashura, then he would have failed in the cycle oh, oh, just like oh, Ashura. Oh, whoa, 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 right there, you did it. She I caught you in real time. What are you talking right about? There, no, no, no. Right there, you did that. You said, yeah, exactly. If he's exactly like Ashra, hold up. I didn't say he was exactly Ashra. You said he's more one. No, 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 no. Yes, you did. I said, no, no, no. I yes, said did. repeatedly. No, I didn't. Yes, you I did. Said, you no, said multiple I, times. He's I've a one to one. I've said repeatedly that Hagaromo admitted that he was almost exactly. Nope. You said one to one. You said one to one. Yes, you did. No, no. You, you said one to one. We I've can. said it a bunch And you said one to one. You said he's a one to one. Even Silence said that I said both. Because I yeah. retract what I said to, to a point. To be fair, he Obviously, said both. Yeah, I mean, okay. Said, so, but you, how, how did okay? No, no, well, how no, did no, how no, did he start no, off though? Oh, how did he start wait, off? No, though? no, 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 no. That is actually no, important. No, how did he start no, off no, though? No, no, no. Your, ori your original argument was one to one until I brought up the Viz Media official translation. Then you changed it. Hey, come, hey, yo, Jota, listen, my nigga, I love you, but come on, bro, like you capping hard. Love that capping hard. But you literally start off with saying one to one. I brought up the, the Viz Media. I brought oh, the Viz oh, Media oh, translation, wait, 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 and then that's when you, you change from the one to one situation. Back, you can go, you can go back and watch the vod, the entire vod. I'm pretty oh, sure I start off oh, saying, <laughs> I know, I know, but you can go back and look at say, okay, I'm pretty sure I said for the most part that he's almost exactly like Ashra. I may have someone said he's like one to one, maybe once or twice. Fair enough, fine. I admit that. It's fine with me. I'll take that. But I've been saying for that for this time of this of, of this whole conversation that he is the vast majority Ashra. Except for one thing, a Cornhog Romo, he's stupider. Some of that sort. That, that, that stuck out well in my mind. So the whole point here is that, obviously, Naruto being able to actually, quote, work hard and do all these things is also a trek of his destiny. In fact, you could also look at 
what happened with the prophecy of him being able to have the power to either destroy the world or save the world. That is also a claim to Naruto's strength. These are all the tracks of Destiny that line up very nicely for Naruto's character. It is what it is. Okay? Thank you. Fuck. We're done. We're done, right? right. Thank you. Cool. So, Bleach. I, I need just, to do one piece video. Okay. Need drink water. Holy shit. Yeah, I need some water, but I need to do well, I need to do some one piece content because obviously that matters a lot more than Naruto. So, I just want to see if you keep the same energy of the same as actually happens in if one piece. Luffy. I mean, the only way this makes any no, sense. No, of Luffy, no, are you going to keep the same energy if the same exact shit happens in one piece? Hold yes, on, no, right now. Wait, wait, wait. What's specify? What does no, that no, mean? No, 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 no. I don't need to specify no, the no, same no, 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 exact do. shit where Luffy no, was no, no, successful no, 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 no. simply no. because he's a reincarnation no. of a character no. that did something oh, similar oh, oh. to him before. I, I won't give you that leeway to be so vague as to say, well, keep the same energy. It's not, it's, it's not no, no. literally being no, 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 vague. No, 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 it's the same exact shit. We know what happened in Naruto, right? We know what happened in Naruto. Okay. Same exact shit with Destiny. Naruto and Luffy. Luffy with Joy Boy. Naruto and Ashura. So like if Luffy is only successful because of the fact that he was a reincarnation of Joy Boy, you got to keep that same energy. Does it make sense to the story? That's the question. Oh, I don't think I'm not too sure if it does. I have to look. I have to, I have to look into it. In Naruto, it makes no sense. But in Ble but One Piece, make makes sense. In Bleach, it makes sense. <laughs> what if it doesn't make sense in One Piece? That's a problem. I'm calling shit out. I don't, really I don't know about that. that. If it's uh, not, if it doesn't I don't make think sense, you're that out. I'm I mean, I've called out Matt in the arc for being, like, bad and horrible. So, I mean, I've done this consistently. Where I, if I see something that's bullshit, I call it out, like, all the damn time. And I get flagged for it all the damn time, but it is what it is. Well, if I see bullshit, about I call it out. fight a little too much. Kyle is great. I think you, talk about that, you talk about that fight a little too much. Like, it's fight is amazing. Hey, yo, that fight's fucking godlike. I think it's really good. I thought it's terrible. But, but, but for example, I things in Waddle Country have some, some things like Big Mom in this arc has been fucking horrible. Nami was absolute ass. She was better now. This chapter actually, but absolute ass for the most for the most of this arc. This shit with fucking goddamn uh, Kidimon is horrible. It's fucking horrible. I hate it, and I call that shit out. But here's so the thing, though. I'm not. I'm not saying that you don't call out flaws in One Piece. What I'm saying is, if something happens in One Piece in terms of his writing with Destiny that is like Naruto, are you going to keep the same energy with Naruto for One Piece? I don't. I'm not but, talking about flaws in one piece. Is, hold on, hold on. And the answer is, I don't know, because One Piece is a different story than Naruto. If Oda had set this up from chapter two, then I can't bitch about him being Joy Boy for his entire career because that's who he's been from chapter fucking two. So how can you bitch about Naruto being Ashura? Was stated in part one. Because Naruto? because Oda had left those marks from the very beginning of the series. But so but did Kishimoto. Kishimoto. No. Kishimoto left those marks too. No, yes, Kishimoto, he did. no, 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 wait, literally, on, The wait. cycle is literally talked wait, about wait, in part wait, one Naruto. Wait, 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 no. so wait, so wait, 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 wait. Do, do you think Oda gets a pass for saying something in chapter two? I can't even speak, yo, this is wild. Can I go? Am I? No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay thank you, okay, thank God. Naruto having these hints for fucking quote destiny from Kakashi's off comments are different than Shanks potentially setting up directly Luffy and the Gum Gum from chapter one. Is that that's a whole story? different fucking that's a whole different level of execution that Kishimo just can't match. That's not actually true at all. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the chapter. Give me a second. Come on. where Kakashi states it. Because it's something that you don't recognize until you finish the series and go back to it. Then you go, oh shit, Kishimoto had this plan the whole time. Kishimoto and Destiny and Kakaki's off comments about them fighting again in the future. Okay, fine. No one's ever to argue that. Of course. But yeah, then. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Okay. Same here. Oh, I'm I'm so. okay. Either way, I'm going to keep it simple. You can't keep the same energy with Naruto. Because one piece is a different story entirely. So I have no idea how it's going to play out at all. I'm going to wait and see what happens. But if okay. it's bad, because there's inconsistencies. Like, for example, if, let's say, Joy Boy wanted to control some weird shit, and then Luffy wants to go in lockstep with that, that's fucking bad. Because Luffy wants to be the freest person in the sea. 
So that would be very contrary to what Luke wants to be. And if his character changed that way, I would say, no, that's dog shit. That's horrible. So I have to see how that plays out. I can't tell you right now. Okay, so right now, okay, I have cool, the page so. open. Here I go. Right? I'm going to go. Oh, what's up? I have the page open. No, just at least look at this before you go. I have the page open, right? Where okay. Kakashi uh, oh, on screen. the Discord. Yeah, on the Discord. Oh, the Discord? I also, I'm also screen sharing it. Yeah. Okay. So it's showing the Valley then, the statues of modern Hashirama. Kakashi then says, Of course they picked this place. Already, red herring number one. Okay. Then uh, I forgot the name of the dog, but then the dog goes, How ironic. Okay. Then Kakashi goes, Yes. They say this river was born from a scar left by a pair of warriors long ago you know when i watch the river flow by like it's showing me that the battle like it will never cease this is actually this is even before he even says the word cycle he's already talking about the cycle between indra okay. and Ashura. Okay? okay then he talks about like the like the two men who built kanoha village whose statues loom over us from my modern hashirama shows the statue right there then he goes and says naruto and sasuke as long as they live the cycle will continue Okay. And this is in part one Naruto. Okay. So how is it a problem if Naruto does it, even though it was foreshadowed more than a decade before it even happened in the Naruto series? The it's problem just that is we, that... We just don't know it because the way Kishimoto, Kishimoto foreshadows it makes it fly over your head until you reread the series or rewatch the series. Which, in, the... in reality, you don't want to foreshadow something and give out the whole goddamn secret to your, to your series. That's kind of the point of foreshadowing. Is it not? The... Okay, hold on now. I'll tell you why. I mean, so I'll answer the first question, okay? I suppose. The, the problem is that in terms of who Naruto is as a character, when you look at the vast majority of part one, destiny is contrary to what he's supposed to be or aim for. What, what Kakashi's saying does, and I said before, it does have a hint, potentially, of what's to come. But you're comparing this to potentially Oda, who had this in chapter one. And no, and Luffy, when it comes to freedom and all this shit, has never been contrary to what he wants. And we all know if Joy Boy is contrary. In fact, there's a chance that he's not. So I have no idea if there's anything that goes against that per se when it comes to who Luffy is and who Joy Boy is versus who Usher is and who Naruto is. So I can't say that. That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. I, I, I can't jump the gun. I'm not saying that you do know. What I am saying is, okay. if it does happen that way, and I've been saying it the whole but time. I if can't it, keep the same energy. I don't know. That's why the key word in this is if, Oh, The key word in this question is if. If it okay. does happen the same way, okay, are you keeping so the same it, energy for Naruto that you yeah. were born to? Okay, if, there you go. If there's that, contrary, that was, then that was the key energy. word the whole point. I wasn't saying it was going to be the same. The whole, the whole key word in the whole you, question was if, if, if. You, okay, okay, huh? But you were literally going on this line of like, yo, this is the case. This is, this is absolutely no, the case. I mean, now, yeah, fair enough. No, I wasn't. Like, literally, I mean, when I, I posed the question the first time, I literally said if. If this happens said, in One Piece, will you keep the same energy? I'll give it for the doubt here. I'm not too sure. All right. I'm pretty sure. How can were... I? How can I form the question I, as a statement? Because then it will be. It will become without the word if it will become. Because a statement. for this entire conversation, you've been very deterministic, very. So I'm just kind of keeping that same energy there with that. But again, I'll say fuck it. All right, fair enough. Yeah, if it winds up being like Naruto, which I told you before, if it's the same way, I don't know how it could be, but if it's the same way, then I'll keep the same energy. I just don't see how it's possible. That's it. All right, we're gonna hold you to that. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we're All gonna right. end this stream. Yeah, I'm gonna Chat, head off. Just to remind y'all, Cole okay. was wrong about Nudgy. Stop the cat. I mean, the manga literally says it itself, but.